Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the best and most effective build for the Curse Blade Circ, one of the three options we have of the Backhands Blade weapon class. This is a unique weapon which scales mostly with dexterity and it has a unique skill named Deadly Dance. This one is really good when it comes to deal successive attacks so we can use it to get a very decent performance with the successive attacks boss. I'm going to be using this build to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. Today we are going to use the Course Blade Seer on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We can also use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Tasha War to easily dodge the Radan's Light Explosion attack or any other difficult attack. I'm going to be rocking the Dancer's Armor set because it will increase the damage of the Deadly Dance skill by a total of 10% if we wear the entire set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Rodden Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, you can also use the Shattered Stone Talisman. This one is going to increase the last part of the deadly dance, the kick part specifically. In our flask of wondrous physique, we are going to use the blood sucking crack tier and the thorny crack tier, but we can also use the stone barb crack tier. This weapon deals only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be blood boil aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, feel free to use flame granny strength. And this weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed, but this time it is completely optional. To get the most out of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 22 on Strength, 94 on Dexterity, 25 on Fate and 16 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Granny Strength are going to be our main buffs. As you can see I'm going to be using the Swarm of Flies. This spell is gonna be extremely helpful for this build because even though this weapon has a passive bleed build up it's not really significant. So if we really want to proc bleed against the DLC bosses we better use this incantation. And as you can see I have my Scattered Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the toughest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we will cast Golden Vow and immediately after that we are going to use our Pickle Torten Leg. Then we are going to use our Body Buff, it can be Blood Boil Aromatic or Flame Grand Me Strength. In this case, I'll use Blood Boil Aromatic. Now refill your FP, your HP, and just right before facing the boss fight, you can cast the Swarm of Flies or in any other opportunity you find to use it. And with that, you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Okay, but now I will, I will not cast it, I'll just run through him. Okay. Take this. I'll take my heavy hit. Oh, this guy scared me. Okay. Go with the jump attack. Take this. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. <laughs> he was about to run. Okay, let's go. Swarm of flies. For fun. For destruction. Oof. That was close, bro. My FPS went down as well. No. Unlucky. Careful there. Back up. Oh, that's amazing. Let's get the crit hit. And let's get another heavy. Wow, why am I not getting the bleed proc yet, dude? This is insane. What? What is she doing? Oh! <laughs> nice, bro. Wow. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, baby. Come on. Let's go crazy. Oh. I'm very lucky. Oh my god, the damage this thing is dealing on this guy. <laughs> what? Let's see what we can do with the skill. Oh! Oh my god, bro! Wow! <laughs> come on, come on. It's been a while now, please. Of course, of course, bro. Oh 
Oh my god. I I don't like that attack, guys. Back up. Nice. Come on. Please. Finally, bro. Finally, bro. Oh my god. It was extremely hard. I don't know why. What I really like of this fight is that even if it's very annoying sometimes, you can actually get it every time. You will eventually find that strategy. Oof, careful there. I almost take that one, honestly. Oh, what a beautiful hit, what? This time I will go with the light attacks as well. Oh, I use it too early, but it's okay. Oh! <laughs> Get down, baby! Oh, that's how we do it! <laughs> nice! Let's go. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, fantastic. Very good. Come on. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Vale. We are not being a good boy right now. We are being a bad boy. Take this. And take this with hit. And take this one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's a very good, uh, nice. I'm too far, bro. No way. Oh, that's fake. I knew it. Nice. Let's go, baby. Come on. I knew it, baby. I knew it. So yeah, I'm gonna use the Swarm of Flies again and hopefully I'm not gonna get smashed in the process. <laughs> but sometimes, these guys are random. Let's go. Nice. Take this. Nice. Oh, I didn't know it was the long one. Take this. Oh my god, careful there. And take this. And go down. You're not going down, you're crazy, bad boy. And get him. Oh, fantastic, bro. Take this. Pam, 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 pam. Pam. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I lost a few buffs, but I'll take it. 